From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Wendell Edwards. We're on top of several stories on this Tuesday morning. We thank you for being here. The man accused of hitting a Farmington police officer with a stolen car is due back in court today. 32-year-old Pedro Acevedo Jr. is accused of running over and nearly killing Officer James O'Donnell with that stolen car back in September. Police say Acevedo is connected to ATM thefts, armed robberies, catalytic converter thefts, and more crimes. Officer O'Donnell is recovering from a crushed pelvis, and he spent four weeks in a hospital rehabbing. I believe that it's a responsible action today to uh, remove that mandate. The city of Hartford has lifted its indoor mask order, joining several other cities and towns now across the state. Mayor Luke Braun says he made this call after COVID case numbers have remained steady since mid-October. In City Hall and some public spaces, masks will still be required. Businesses can also choose to require a face covering as well. Masks are still required in Hartford Public Schools and city buildings. Now, the mayor says, though, if there were to be another surge in COVID cases, masks everywhere could potentially come back. Also in Hartford this morning, investigators are trying to figure out what caused an underground electrical fire. It forced 38 people out of their homes to be evacuated from their Washington Street building last night. Now, fire officials confirm heavy smoke from several manhole covers extended to the basement of that building. Now, it accommodates the Department of Corrections housing program. All the residents had to be relocated for the night. This happened before midnight. The scene was cleared by three, but the building this morning is still closed. All right, hi everybody, good morning. Looks like a really good day of weather with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures topping out in the upper 60s today. Typical daytime high for this time of year is 54. So we're gonna be doing substantially better than that with numbers in the mid to upper 60s. That is just remarkable with mostly sunny skies. This will be the warmest day of the next seven. So we want you to get out there and enjoy it. Tonight, overnight lows dropping into the upper 40s. This is a mild night with mostly cloudy skies. Maybe a sprinkle or a brief shower by very early tomorrow morning as a cold front moves into the area. But for the most part, most of us stay dry and then the clouds give way to another mostly sunny day tomorrow. Thursday looks good. Friday looks wet and then the upcoming weekend gets cooler, but it looks like a nice weekend all in all. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Thanks again.